Hey, hello. I'm Arnie Feldkamp. Welcome to my crib. These are my two children. Come here. Heavy and hero. And uh, they're always nice to me. They're never in a bad mood. Protect everything, my rods, everything. I would like to show you my bathroom because that's the most important. I like to relax in the bath. Television will be soon here. As you can see, I like wood, stone, stones everywhere. It's like a man uh, grip. And this is my office, my little office. I was spending a lot of time. <laughs> As you see, I like wood. Even my kitchen is from, made from wood. And also, I got a bar, wood, tables, the television. As you can see, this is my clock for my house. Love it. Got it as a present. Hi, everybody. Now we're outside. This is my terrace. It's like... Uh, everyday holiday when I'm sitting outside. It's a little bit of a mess. Everywhere is fishing stuff. And the uh, couch to lie on when I'm fishing. And the sun comes up from there. And I've got it all day. As you can see in front, my rods. They're not out yet, but I will put them in uh, in half an hour. Fishing uh, always when I come home. It's for me an uh, everyday an adventure. Because this channel is maybe 100 kilometers long. It goes from here to Amsterdam. And you never know what, what you're gonna catch. You always have a chance of a big one. It's very difficult. You have to make a lot of hours to catch fish. But it's in front of my crib, so I'm not complaining. That's why I can do more hours than most uh, people can do. And you have a better chance to catch a, a good fish. I use uh, Silk Ray as a leader. The inline leads from PB. A tungsten lead just behind the hook. And the snowman. Fished a few weeks now, I've only got one fish. Uh, the fish are ready for uh, spawning, I think, and they're not coming up the channel yet. So uh, I only caught uh, one male carp and a bream, but I think the big girls are coming soon. So uh, next two weeks will be uh, very good. Last night, as most of the nights, last weeks, the fish is still not in the channel and uh, we didn't caught anything. Uh, the channel is I think one of the most difficult uh, channels in, in Holland because 
you have to make so many hours to catch a fish. But yes, it's in front of my house, so I cannot complain. Sometimes you're lucky and uh, you have to work hard for it. About last year, um, when I caught uh, the biggest fish until now in front of my house, and uh, we're all having a barbecue with my friend Arjen Uitbeijers and some more friends. And I think it was around 7.30 in the evening. And uh, the first time, I was already fishing for a few weeks, the first time I had a bleep on my rods. And uh, so I jumped over the reeling and uh, walked to the rods, picked up my rod and it felt straight away until the, that it was a good one playing it for a while and then it came up and uh, my friend said that looks like the big mirror on the channel and this fish was caught one or two months before uh, before the spoon and it was 20 kilo plus uh, on a fishing competition so uh, we netted it the fish and after weighing it was 19 kilo so I was very happy and um, yeah Shame it wasn't 20 kilo plus, where I'm aiming for for 20 years, but it was a beautiful fish. I was fishing with uh, uh, yeah, uh, just a pop-up and snowman uh, style. And uh, some particles, what I always do, hemp, buckwheat, maize, some tiger nuts, just a mixture of it, a few spoons over it. Anyway, I caught in the I fish here now for 19 years and I caught some more fish, beautiful fish, but it's a really hard, hard, hard river. The channel is really hard. Sometimes weeks you catch nothing and sometimes three or four in the night. Also, every time when I post the fish, of course, there's fishing beside me right on the left side, they're sitting beside me. You know, they wait until I catch the fish and then they come in, but of course, I pre bait the swim for many years. How many years have I fished for PB? Uh, straight from the start. Uh, when they, when Marcel uh, PB and Martijn uh, took over, Dutch tackle. I think uh, it's about eight or nine years ago when I got a phone call uh, from my friend Lars Boot. And uh, he called me up, he said, uh, um, would you like to join uh, PB? I said, well, I can always have a chat about that. And I then I started to get to know uh, Marcel. And uh, yeah, what I like about PB, of course, it's high quality products and the prices are normal for the people, not too high. And uh, what I like, we have a lot of input as team members, you know. As a consultant, we can say uh, if we have any, any ideas and uh, sometimes they do something with it and sometimes you don't hear anything, but anyway, they give us a chance. And what I like uh, about PB, uh, we have a great team of guys, you know. Al always when we do a show, uh, yeah, it's, it's like family, you know. Also, when we go fishing together or whatever, it's, it's always good. Uh, in three or four countries, I caught uh, fish over 30 kilo. And uh, that's for me a really huge fish. Uh, I think I have about seven fish over 30 kilo in my life now. And I fish for many years, travel all around the world to catch them. If I hear something, I go after it. It's like in the early days, in the, the year 2000, I was already fishing Lake Raduta. And everybody said, you're crazy to go there. You know, they, are, they kill you, they rob you. But it was all different, you know. I met some really nice people and uh, I caught at that time a 31 kilo common which one one year was later uh, was the world record common 
And at that time, you know, I mean, guys, 20 years ago, a 30 kilo plus common was amazing. Was really amazing. It's, it's the same as now uh, 45 kilo plus. So, uh, and also uh, some special memories of, about Rainbow when I caught 10 scale, also 30 kilo plus. And one very big fish I caught uh, in also in East Europe, uh, 35 kilo, spot on looking fish. No marks, nothing. Really strong fish, good fight. Uh, couldn't use the boat, so I just had to throw. Uh, used a lot of particles and, uh, and boilies. And that's what I mean. Uh, normally I don't use these big amounts, but uh, yeah, somebody told me, please try it. Use more than you ever used before. And that brought me the biggest, biggest fish of my life. So uh, yeah, very happy with that. You know, you can catch a big fish, but this was also a nice looking fish. I can also be very happy when I catch a 10 kilo, uh, a fully scaled one or a beautiful linear or 13 or 14 kilo. It, it's not always the weight, don't get me wrong because now I'm gonna uh, go more to lakes where you have more scaly fish. This is what I wanna do next. Also, uh, I want, would like to catch in the future a very big koi. That's also uh, one of my things uh, I want to do. Um, last year I had a grass carp of uh, 27 or 28 kilos, which was amazing. Now, uh, it's, it's good to go to many countries, like for Mor Morocco. I went to Morocco um, 10, 15 years ago with my friend Frank Warwick. We were one of the first, you know, to go there. And uh, yeah, it was amazing. I'd like, if I hear something, I go there. I try to go there. It's not always possible. Same with Croatia. We were one, uh, one of the first of I know, from, uh, from the people uh, I know who went to uh, Zumbar, you know. I got a special tip from a, a German friend of mine and I kept it, of course, uh, for myself. If somebody tells me you cannot talk about it, I will not talk about it, about a lake or whatever. You know, I think a lot of people do a lot of uh, effort to find a lake like that. And if they uh, yeah, want to tell you this, then it's, it's a thing you have to keep uh, keep quiet about. I was invited uh, to go to uh, America to fish the St. Lawrence River and to give the prizes away for dynamite baits you know, during a competition, American Championship or something like that. So we went to the Lawrence River. I was fishing with some Dutch friends and uh, they all um, yeah, were going with bikes. We had a house on the, on the river and we're going with the with bikes and with all the gear further away from the house. I said, it's one river, you know. If you, if you catch them there, you can also catch them in front of your house. So uh, what did I do? I went uh, with the boat outside. I put every time, yeah, you don't believe this, 80 kilos of mace. And I think in a half an hour it was gone. So many fish. The river is, I think, 1,000 kilometers long or something. Uh, it has millions of carbs. And, uh, but uh, my friend from the American Carp Society, David Moore, came uh, to visit us. And I said, why, I only catch uh, common carp. He said, yeah, mirror carp is very rare, you know. I, uh, I never caught one in the Lawrence River. So we, I said, come and fish a few days with me, David. Yeah, okay, so he came fishing with me and we did promotion for the World Championships, uh, which would be sponsored by a casino. We were fishing, and you don't believe it, I catch a mirror carp in the, in the Lawrence River, which was a small one, but it was crazy, you know. We were just talking about it, and then I caught it. And we made some really nice pictures uh, together. And also, when I give the prizes away for a dynamite uh, at the American Championship, yeah, that was something special, you know. It, it was really uh, special. I think... Uh, about four years ago, uh, they stole all my gear on uh, what I have in front of my house. So my rod pot, my rods, and uh, 
In the evening I heard, in the night I heard one bleep, so I had a look, I didn't see anything. And the next morning a big boat a tanker came through the channel and uh, I didn't hear any bleep, so I said this is not good. So I went outside and all my stuff was gone. And I think the guys came with a boat and stole my gear. So nowadays I have, you can see upstairs, two times 1500 watt lights. So if somebody walks or comes with the boat at night, they are full in the lights. I have a camera system, 24 hours a day. So uh, also when they are looking to try to, to steal it, I already have them on uh, camera. And I've got smart alarms. You know, they go with a sonar. So I put a pole with a smart alarm near the rods. When somebody walks by or is close to my rods, the alarm goes off. My dog recognizes the noise of the smart alarm and will hit off from inside to outside and start barking. He's very clever, you know, it's really amazing. He makes the connection with the smart alarm and the, and the noise and uh, he knows somebody wants to steal my stuff or maybe he's walking by. <coughs> You know what I hope is that, that we can catch those really big fish in Holland. We don't have to travel so far anymore, you know. I'm also getting a little bit older, so it's a lot of effort to go there. But yeah, what you see, you know, 20 years ago or 15 years ago, a 20 kilo fish was yeah, mind blowing. Really, really rare in Holland. Now I hear already stories about fish caught in Holland 35 kilo plus. So it's not much, there are not many of them, but it's possible. As long as you know the good lakes. But uh, yeah, so it makes it interesting, you know. Uh, I like it, the, the, the type of fish they put now uh, in our waters and they grow fast. And uh, yeah, I think it's, it's good, you know, they learn a lot. One dream for me, I've got all the material ready, is to do one day a book. Hopefully that day will come. And I would like to do more filming. That's why I'm glad uh, from PB we have John now, who does uh, really good care. And I would like to do for the Fishing and Hunting channel in the future maybe a fishing series. I've got all the, the material here and uh, they want me to film everywhere but I need a guy who can come with me. But we have a job both that makes it difficult. But maybe that's something for the future. Because I think a fishing series all around the world will be fantastic, you know, and also what's with some humor in it. And maybe some famous people we can invite to join us on, on the fishing trips, like a competition or something. Yeah, it would be great. It's not only, only fishing, it's being together and enjoying uh, the nature. And yeah, I met through fishing. I fish now for, uh, I think, f almost 40 years for carp, you know. And uh, I met so many nice people through all the world, uh, you know. Uh, so for me, yeah, uh, I have friendships all over the world, what I told you, and it's forever, you know. I have a lot of contacts still, and I'm all, I can go everywhere. They can come to me, uh, stay with me here in my house, and fish in front of my house, or train with me in my gym. You know, yeah, these are special things. So guys, you know, a big fish is maybe once in a lifetime, or if you're lucky, you catch them a few times more. But friendship is forever. Think about this, friendship is forever. So what's more important, that big fish or the friendship?